hi guys how you doing i'm doing great i don't know about you but i'm doing great so first of all if you are a returning subscriber to my channel mwah, thank you for always taking your time to watch my videos and coming back and also for those who are new to my channel hi my name is zia and in my channel i talk about glow up ideas hair growth ideas and many more to come so um maybe you just found this random video and decided mm, let me watch it why don't you just subscribe come on just subscribe hype me up that's what i need that's all and be with me in my journey till wherever i'll take you i don't know but i have goals with myself not not only hair growth not only glow up not only weight loss but lots of goals so that aside so for today's video i believe some of you have watched my video the one I got my nose piercing. Mm -hmm. First of all, my experience. It was a very scary experience. I'm scared of, uh, how should I put this? Sharp needles. So, <clears throat> it, was, it was quite a big step for me to take. So, normally, as um, I think what I did wrong was taking the gun type. That's, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know if it's that way for others who take with the needles i don't know what it's called i forgot the name but it didn't go great for me i used to have this swelling what's the name i don't know i'm not sure of the name but i used to have this swelling here at my nose it was really stressing me i was like mm, when will this wound heal now i have this big lump to take care of Ugh. so i know i'm not the only one who has been having that issue many people want to pierce um, but they're scared of that that's the most scary part and which needs lots of patience to get rid of so i took my time i said no i i wanted a piercing for a reason and there's no way i'm going to take this earring out and just let it block mm -mm. i did not waste my money for nothing so i decided to do my research and like how can i get rid of this lamp i was having i'll be showing you some videos after this ha. to so hectic it used to be <laughs> yeah so i did my research and found out that you can use two things and one a, a company to help you get rid of the swelling at your after piercing which was i used colgate i bought this little child here you know it i i'm told that this helps in inflammation that one i used um sea salt yeah i used sea salt to get rid of the swelling and warm water i'm going to also be showing you a video on how to prepare soon after this video how to prepare your um, your warm water to be used uh, you use it for the for the wound yeah which you'll watch after this so let's get into it
so i believe i have showed you my how it looks like how it used to look like you know with the inflammation that night i was panic i was like i wanted a nose ring but i have this swelling what do i do huh you get me so that's what i decided to do so this is what i did so look at my piercing right now oh no swelling no more actually let me take off this ring so that you can see it well i'm telling you the truth hey there we go no pain nothing it healed let me show you look just a nice looking hole that is nice and flat no swelling nothing i'm untouchable hey okay also i'm not the only one who I know I'm not the only one who had this swelling. There's some people who are still having it right now. It only took me two months to heal. I took the piercing in November. Then uh, around December, it was starting to swell. I was like, uh -uh, no, I want to have this piercing. I don't want it to block or anything. So I started using this remedy and it helped. Two weeks later, I was good to go. Okay, I used to use a stick. For my piercing for the hole, I used to have a stick because the ear, the plastic earring that I was having was not fitting. So I just decided to rock with a stick. Yes, a stick. People used to see a nose, a stick popping out through my nose, but I didn't care. So that aside, let's get into this is what I used to do. I will take Colgate, then I will apply it on top of the affected area. I used to put it on top every morning and uh, evening every morning when i before I, I went to shower i used to put this block it well there used to be a stick there it's just that my stick broke so i don't have time to look for another stick when my hole has healed but hey you get me i used to put it above and inside also because inside i was also it was also swollen so inside and above I mean, it's in, above and inside. Yeah, inside and above is still correct. So, ah, yeah. that's done. I will sit. Let this sit for about. No, sorry. I used to do this after showering. So I would let this sit for about how many minutes? Until it dries, thirty minutes at most. Yeah. So it dries up. It dries. It let let it dry and all. That. You get you get me. So. It's dry now. Let's assume that it's perfectly dry. I will do this next. I will take the um, what should I call this? The warm water that I prepared with salt and we take a clean cloth and wipe off the Colgate. So let me take it. It's so far. So this is my oh, focus. So this is my warm water that I prepared after the Colgate has dried. This is what you do. So I used to take my clean cloth, dip. I used to use all the four corners, so dip the first corner. It used to be hot, hey, it used to be burning. But what, what can I say? <laughs> Beauty is pain and it needs patience. So I was like, I don't mind, I can do this. So I, t I took off the stick, then I wipe off with the warm water, first of all. Dip it again, <sighs> it's hot. Then I wipe used to be like pinching I used to get this pinch pinching feeling you know it's a hole it's swollen then I wipe the inside as well just wiping at the top nice and slow <laughs> just to be <laughs> just you just you just start <laughs> okay see now that's done I've wiped the the Colgate then we're not done yet we need to burn the inflammation so I used to do this I used to dip it inside well, and then I put it, then I squeeze, 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 squeeze. It used to be burning. I used to, now I don't feel pain because it's perfectly healed, but hey, I just can't explain. I used to stand at the wall, then like, ah. but I needed it to heal, so yeah, okay, yeah. Then I'm done like that. Then I just put on my stick. Let me put this glass aside. Then I just put my stick on. I dry it good. Then I, oh sorry, I used to take coconut oil. I used to use coconut oil. I pour up and then I put it on my finger and I also apply. Yep. 
then I put on my stick and I'm good to go and I was good to go mm -hmm. so that is what I used to do and that is how my piercing healed so fast look at that Eish. it just passed so fast so yeah that's my journey in my piercing now I'm just rocking my healed nose piercing and be like yeah I have a piercing and it healed I don't know about yours but I feel pretty yeah <laughs> yeah so that's that just a simple procedure all you need is Colgate warm water and salt and you just do that and you're good to go girl you're good to go get that piercing if you want to get the piece if you're scared of the inflammation just use this remedy and you're good to go so I used to rock the stick till it healed until it broke itself then I'm back to my nose ring I got what I wanted so yeah so that's that I'm now done see you guys in my next coming video make sure oh if you are new and you just decided to watch my video hey subscribe my dear subscribe what you waiting for Sub don't just watch at least subscribe it just needs not even a second just a microsecond of your time to just tap the subscribe button Poop. and be with me till the end of my journey you guys i love you man i know i ain't consistent but i'm trying my best <sighs> i'm just trying my best so make sure you subscribe to my channel if you are new and if you're still a returning subscriber always come back mm, you never know someday i have some a very good surprise for you people so make sure you just subscribe and be with me till the till where i take you okay so that's that and see you in my next video bye people love you